What is up, everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Today, we are checking out The Chat Breaker by Rev Amplification. It's an overdrive slash distortion pedal. Why is it called The Chat Breaker? Basically, the story goes, uh, the boys at Rev thought it'd be a cool idea to reach out to uh, Chat GPT and ask it to design an overdrive pedal. And as far as I know, there were about four hours of back and forth between chat GPT and Rev before it finally kind of spit out a design. When Dan Trudeau, who is the head designer at Rev, took a look at the design, he basically said, this won't work. As a matter of fact, it won't even power up. But as he looked at it, he realized that what chat GPT actually came up with was essentially a blues breaker circuit. So he ended up taking that circuit fixing all the stuff that didn't work. He basically just fixed it. But he also added a lot of elements that are part of what he would have done. A lot of the design aspects, the tonalities that are very much signature for Dan Trudeau. He went ahead and plugged that in as well to come up with a, a final product. So it's, uh, I would say, a, a low to medium gain drive pedal, though it can go uh, higher in gain. And we can get into that in the demo, um, but that's what I'm hearing. Um, it, uh, as far as I know, is limited release. So they're not gonna make uh, that many of them. Um, but yeah, let's get into what's on top of the pedal. Uh, it's super straight ahead, drive, tone, and level. You guys all know what that does. So we'll just get into uh, how that sounds uh, in the demo. Um, even the, this color uh, scheme uh, is based on the, the GPT colors. Uh, so that's, that's why it looks like that. It actually looks, actually looks pretty cool. Um, anyways, I'm digressing. So yeah, drive, tone, level, obviously foot switch. It's very pedal, pedal board friendly. Uh, it's front mounted uh, in and out jacks as well as uh, the 9 volt DC is on top. Um, so yeah, without uh, further uh, chatting about it, let's check out this Rev Amplification Chat Breaker. All right, let's get into some sounds. Here's just the guitar into the amp. Got it dialed pretty clean. We're gonna have the chat breaker do all the work. Here's the chat breaker.
Okay, so just messing around. I basically started, I, and you know, I understand, and I'm I'm kind of with you guys. As cool as these knobs look, uh, when I demo, you can't really see where they're set. So I will tell you where I started. So where I started was with the gain at about maybe a just a bit above two o'clock. <laughs> Or I should say drive. The level is, uh, I would say, 1 o'clock, so above noon. So if there's a midpoint at like 12, then to the right of that is about 1 o'clock. And then the tone is at about the same. It's at about... Uh, one o'clock. So let's do this uh, first. I'm going to let you guys check out the drive range. Um, one thing that's very apparent with this pedal is towards the end of all that noodling, I had the drive all the way up and I was able to just roll the guitar volume up and down and it responded really well. It cleaned up really nicely. So it does do that. I consider this definitely uh, a low to medium gain uh, pedal. But uh, let's do this. I'm going to let's turn the drive all the way off. That's the drive all the way off. Here's the drive at noon. Here's the drive at about three o'clock. There's a drive all the way out. I can tell within this circuit as you crank the drive especially all the way up you get more top end but I don't find it to be too harsh and what's nice about it is how it backs off Okay, so that's the drive range. The pedal's really dynamic, backs off really well. Let's look at this level control, because the other thing you can do is, is just push the amp way harder. So when I've got the drive all the way off, I'll shut the pedal off and then turn it on with the drive off, right? So let's just leave the drive off. Right now the level control is, as I mentioned, a little bit past noon, so it's about one o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the level all the way up. Now we're pushing uh, the amp much harder. So even with the drive all the way off and the level all the way up, you can get some really cool kind of amp-like tones. So I did that just to show you how much just uh, level is on tap to hit the amp harder. So I'll put the level back to about where it was. We'll bring the drive back up to maybe like three o'clock. Now let's sweep the tone. Here's the tone all the way off. So this thing can get really dark. I always appreciate pedals that can be toppy and cut through, but it's always kind of a, a, a bummer when you turn the tone next to off or off and it's still awfully bright. Um, you know, for me, it's, you know, it kind of 
yeah, I guess it just kind of bums me out. In this case, this pedal can get really dark, which means if you've got a brighter amp or brighter guitar, um, this will be dialable. So that's off. Here's the treble at 12 o'clock. Here's the treble all the way up. I like it at about, I would say close to three o'clock. It depends on what I'm doing. If I want like a warmer solo tone, like in that performance pass, um, I think I had the treble for the, the Tyler guitar up a bit. Uh, and then for the, the McCarty 58, that PRS, I had it down a little bit, wanted it to be a little bit warmer, especially because the gain was, was dimed uh, for that. But overall, I like uh, the, uh, the, the tone control to be at about, you know, just a little below uh, three o'clock. Now, even with the drive where it is, which is about three o'clock, what if I crank the level? Let's try it. So it sounds like within the circuit, you know, with the drive up and the level, you can you can kind of tweak how the pedal clips almost internally, which once again, it's like, this isn't totally unique. A lot of pedals are this way, but it's one thing I always keep in mind is how does it sound, you know, if you really crank the level with the drive, how do they interact with each other? So that's just something I, I kind of wanted to point out. Um, as a, as a feature or just really as a way to dial pedals. Honestly, my favorite way to run the pedal is with the drive all the way up and then just adjust my volume controls accordingly. So that is the chat breaker by Rev. If you've got any other questions, go to the website, feel free to reach out to me. I know quite a bit about this pedal. And as always, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, please uh, hit that like button and subscribe because I would love to have you uh, along. And uh, yeah, and like I said before, uh, thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time.